Folks, the idea of a citizen's arrest is antiquated and you've really got to get that out of your mind and out of your vocabulary and out of your thoughts before you get yourself hurt. My name is John, founder and president of General Response. My team and I travel Michigan and the country conducting very dynamic, realistic conflict de-escalation training seminars for businesses, corporations, churches, state agencies, even law enforcement. An incident happened in England not too long ago where this guy went out into this uh, garage, uh, this shop, smashed up a car and then took off running and two of the mechanics took off running after him. They caught up with him. One mechanic held him down by the legs. The other mechanic held him in a bear hug, choke hold and held him down to the cops got there, which of course took several minutes. And by the time the cops got there, the subject was dead. And now these two mechanics who meant well, who just trying to catch a bad guy, are now facing murder charges and years in jail. And of course, here in the States, uh, Ahmad Arbery, Mr. Ahmad Arbery, uh, walked going through a jogging through a, a, a neighborhood chased after by uh, two gentlemen who felt he was uh, burglarizing and up to no good. Confrontation took place, they ended up shooting and killing him. And of course, there's other headlines back and forth uh, of, of situations, uh, bail bondsmen and stuff, uh, getting into these confrontations and so on. Folks, it's not a good idea in this day and age because take a look, consider you walking down the street and then somebody armed to the teeth, aggressively approaching you and saying that they're conducting a citizen's arrest. Are you going to cooperate and just figure that, hey, I'll just explain it was a case of mistaken identity? Or are you going to immediately think that probably you're, being, you're about to get jacked up and robbed and resist and defend yourself? Not a good idea. Folks, if you see a crime in, in uh, progress, one of the best things you can do and one of the most effective things you can do is just get on the phone with 911 and give updated, accurate information to the responding police officers and avoid allowing yourself to get sucked up into the moment and, and, and allowing yourself to feel like you have to do something and rushing into a situation that you end up saying or doing something that escalates it and someone gets hurt or worse. Folks, t folks take a deep breath. God bless you if you want to catch the bad guy, but in this day and age, mistaken identity, mistaken perception, it's just a dangerous, dangerous world out there. Keep yourself safe. Make sure you go home to your friends and family all in one piece. And just take a deep breath that if you see a crime, you know it's a crime, someone's burglarizing a car, your neighbor's house or whatever, get on the phone, call 911, keep yourself safe. Just stay on the phone and maintain good, accurate, updated information to dispatch to relay to the responding officers. Hit that like and subscribe button.